Hey everyone, it's Bubbles, and welcome back to my channel. Also, welcome if you are new. So, today's video is going to be another speed build, and so this is a container build I did that's very industrial. Um, and so, I had this idea, had this idea to do a container build because I hadn't done one on the channel yet. And I've done some industrial things, like the uh, dream apartment I did a while ago, but I hadn't done um, a specifically a container build, and in fact, I don't even think I've posted one on my Instagram at all. I can't say I have. If I have, then I'm, you know, you can call me out, but I don't think I have. So, yeah, I felt like just doing one this week, and using some of the items from the new pack because I felt like um, they fit this style. The new pack meaning Dream Home Decorator, sorry. <laughs> I realized when I'm recording this, the e expansion for Cottage Living has just come out and I didn't realize it was coming out the 22nd. I thought it was going to be out the 26th, so I was freaking out. <laughs> so, um, but... Yeah, so I used some of the items from Dream Home Decorator in this because they f they fit the style I was going for. So yeah, um, and so this was built on the Shipping Views lot in the Port Promise area in um, Evergreen Harbor. And so it's a 30 by 20 lot and this home has only one bedroom and one bathroom just because it is quite small um but there is like plenty of outdoor space which i felt like fit this kind of build better so yeah i don't know why i have a habit of not building like family homes i guess i don't know why <laughs> like i'm not against them because I, I, just, I don't know. Maybe it's because I just don't really play with families that often. I That will change, I promise, because I know a lot of people build, or sorry, play with families a lot more than like, you know, single, single sim households. So I promise I won't always just build um, single sim or one to two sim households. And it also seems like I always do them for young adults too. Like I don't I don't know why. Maybe it's because that's that's me and that's what I'm used to, but I don't freaking know. <laughs> so um but yeah, I promise this will not be all the time <laughs> that I only do um you know, a few sims in a house. Um so yeah, cuz like I did enjoy the family home base game house I did a while ago. That's one of my most favorite family builds I have done, especially since it was base game, but either way, you get my point. I promise. I just, I promise. <laughs> but anyway, and so, um, I also did fit room in here for a dog, so there is a, a food bowl in the kitchen, and then there is a, like, the thing for uh, pet toys outside on the deck area. And then there is a pet bin in the bedroom, in the upstairs bedroom. Which now I think about that and I'm like, that was a bad idea because I didn't put stairs in here. I put ladders, so oopsies. I'm just now reeling, realizing that. I apologize. So, um, if you do download this, you'll have to move that. Oops. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to do that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, it, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Heck, you don't even need to play with a pet bed. I just put it in there because, you know to signify that there's a, there can be a pet in here. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, so that that was a accident. Oopsies. Anyway, <laughs> um but I I 
think you could there's enough room to fit like a litter box in here if you did want to put play with a cat but I was thinking more a dog so either way there should be enough room to fit a litter box in here I'm not sure if it'll fit in the bathroom because the bathroom is kind of small but there should be enough room I mean you could just put it outside I guess whatever anyway you do you but yeah so um this like I said before this is using the dream home decorator pack and also obviously eco lifestyle since it's in the world but it's, and obviously since it's a container build but yeah so I went with the industrial and modern interior with this so definitely the most of the industrials on the outside and so with the um whole thing being a container obviously and then um there's this one section right here where I built out part of it and that's like brick and so I used some really like industrial looking brick for that and I also carried that wallpaper inside just because I felt like it um it needed some like accent walls and so I thought that looked good and then on um the interior for the color scheme I did use like a more orangey wood throughout the house and then or I guess it is a house whatever um and then I used like a concrete wallpaper for the rest of it in white and I did that just because the other parts of the house like the rest of the color scheme is kind of like it is monochromatic but it's more on the darker side of it so a lot of um gray and black um and then I did use the like cold tone brown swatches in the furniture we got from Dream, uh, Dream Home Decorator because I hadn't gotten the chance to use that swatch yet and I really love um cold tone brown a lot more than I like a warm tone because um I feel like the warm tone gives off too much of an orangey like uh tone to it and I don't necessarily like orange a whole lot for interior so yeah um and then it the red brick uh wallpaper I did use in it does kind of brighten it up a little like warm it up a little so yeah um and then so right now I'm working on the landscaping because I had gotten the the shape of the whole home already figured out and I went ahead and did the floor planning which came together pretty quickly um and so now I'm just working on the gardening area that's out here and then I wanted there to be a lot of green because this lot is very like industrial because it is on the um right off the docks and so I wanted it to be look like it was eco-friendly and not necessarily industrial so I put um quite a few of the uh like the uh floor grass bush plants I don't know I use them all the time I like them um and then the one of the trees we got in base game and then I just kind of uh layered some terrain paint so it was like a dustier looking dirt on the first layer and then I put green down just to kind of put some more life into it since the terrain paint on the actual lot is very like dirty and gray and dry looking and so yeah um and then funnily enough I found this like decor item from base game in the uh clutter category that's just like stone little pieces of stone and I put that around the path I drew around the, the house and I thought that looked cool I've never used that like ever so 
you know, fun, the fun things you rediscover, I guess. <laughs> um, and then I just put some of those uh, plants we got from cats and dogs around because I hadn't used those in a while and I really do like those. And then just some uh, orange, orangey flower bushes. Um, and so since I wanted this lot to be more green in terms of like the eco footprint, I did put uh, windmills and solar panels on it. And then I did put the uh, rain catcher um, items from Eco Lifestyle out near the garden. So there's that as well. Um, and I didn't, I tried to keep away from anything that would leave an, um, industrial footprint. Like, it would mark that home as being industrial. So, that means I didn't put down, like, the generator and stuff like that. Just to try and make it seem like it was more green, but, yeah. And so, this is the, yeah, there's the rain catchers, but this is the first floor decking. And so it's got a grill area and a seating area, and I also put some of the uh, sun chairs we got from Eco Lifestyle down here. And then I moved on to the first floor interior, and so there's also uh, two decks on the second floor, and one of them has a chest table, and the other one has um, some other gardening pl uh, plots. Are they called plots? Whatever. More, more places to garden, and I also did put the, like, bug homes that we got in Eco Lifestyle as well, so, yeah. And then there is uh, another, uh, like, deck area on the top floor, and it's just got, like, a, an outdoor couch seating area, and yeah, that's about it. And so, I took a minute to figure out the kitchen because the layout is kind of weird, but I felt like it came together enough, and so, yeah, but, um, I was struggling with the counters a little, and then when I put, like, section off each of the rooms down here on the first floor, I was like, ugh, it's kind of small, but I felt like it worked enough because, you know, I felt like I was making the kitchen way bigger than it actually needed to be, so, um, but yeah, and there is a, in, a, like, a, an office desk area in the middle room between the kitchen and the living room, so, yeah, um, and then I did decide to put an easel in here for, like, maybe the person living here is an artist, I don't know, I just felt the need to put those canvases we have in this uh, Eco Lifestyle pack because I love them. And yeah. So we did just get an update this last week. And so I thought I'd go through some of the things we got in the new update that I was particularly excited for. And so yeah, I hope you don't mind, but I have their uh, website pulled up and their update notes or their patch notes. And so the first thing on that post is that they added uh, two new um, pieces of art by two LGBTQ plus artists, which I thought was really great because, you know, uh, Pride Month just happened, and so I feel like they've been putting more representation in the game, which I'm so down for, um, and so, yeah, so that's something they added, so if you want to see what they added, check out your game or check out this post, because I do have a picture of the two paintings, and so then they... Um, talked about the pawn tool and the terrain tools because they actually did um, update the terrain manipulation and terrain paint tools so that you can slide it to the size you want now so you can make it more precise which thank god because the manipulation tool was such a pain in the butt and so now you can make more precise and subtle changes in terrain so yeah, that's amazing. And then the pawn tool works so that when you create like a hole, 
using the manipulation tool, you just add water to it. So that's pretty cool. Super excited about that. And then if you haven't seen, they also added objects to the ponds like um, fish, ducks, um, and even alligators. So that's fun. Um, and so then they added group cooking. So more than one person could cook at the same time. Um, uh, children can help with gardening now, which is interesting. Um, they added a food delivery service, kind of like DoorDash and Grubhub. Um, and then they added a calendar for base game instead of it being in just seasons, so that's interesting. Um, and then, let's see. For the bug fixes, they said they fixed some of the lag because there was quite a bit when I was building this, um, this build. It was kind of a pain in the butt and even the last build, but that they said they fixed and then they said they fixed the issue where if you put mirrors, um, so that they're facing a door, the mirror will glitch the wall out. So that was kind of hard for screenshot some screenshots, but they said they fixed that and then there was something else that was specifically uh, a huge thing for me because I had had it, um, I, I've had it happen in my game quite a bit, so let me find what that is. Okay, I found what else they patched that I was super excited for. So there was a glitch with the platforms where if you uh, raised the platform up and then you built rooms around it, the platform would suddenly jump up to a certain level. And so I was having tons of issues with that in my game, which is kind of why I stay away from platforms, but they said they fixed it. So I will test that out um, and a lot of other people have been having that issue. In fact, everyone, I'm pretty sure, has had that one. So, I was super excited about that one. And then they also fixed in Dream Home Decorator, if you heard that some of the swatches, like, especially for the uh, modular couch, where if you put the couch lined up, like, many pieces of the couch lined up together in the same swatch, it looks completely different for each object. And it was like, <laughs> so they said they fixed that as well so hoping that they are actually fixed because those were th the most exciting for me and so there are a few more um things that they fixed so if you're interested please check that post out because I always read the patch notes but we are at the end of this video and so I hope you enjoyed this build and I hope you didn't mind me babbling on about the update but I find it interesting and especially this one was important to me so yeah but other than that if you want to download this build it is on the gallery already and so you can find all the info in the description and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more other than that i will see you guys next week bye